generally these don't have flammability so you don't really want to set that you can set it to destroy if you want to I don't think saplings are able to be pushed and uh, you will need NVT data for this so enable that and then we have one procedure here for update tick and what I've done here is I've created a simple system um, an if, if statement that is not uh, basically on client side so we're testing if it's on server side only we're setting a block MBT data which can be found under block and then we scroll down and then it's uh, this one right here for the block MBT data and then we've given it a name and this should be your mod ID and then whatever um, variable you want to give it and then we've set that to be a random number uh, so if it's it's only going to be running on server side when it's doing this uh, with that being said it's going to increase or it's going to randomize the number um, between a certain uh, count uh, so anywhere from 0 to 1 it will be generating a number each uh, time the block updates which it updates randomly so this is random as well so it's going to be a random growth stage so we've, we're basically testing if it is uh, 0 0.875 this seems to be a reasonable time for a tree to grow uh, we're basically getting the um, the variable that we've set here again if you want to get the variable it's at the top here you grab this under the blocks tab and test if it's equal to or uh, greater than and then your value that you want to now because we've set the random number to this variable we want to use this variable here uh, to basically set our MBT tag and then what we're doing is uh, this is where the structure placement comes in um, we're actually offsetting the coordinates for the tree to grow um, I'll explain that in just a second but um, you want to do the coordinate minus and then your number for X and Z and uh, you want to set the structure that you want to actually place now this can be found under world management and then under uh, place at and then the coordinates and then the type of um, structure you want to place so if we hop back in game I will show you a little bit more so back in game what you want to do um, obviously I, I forgot to mention this uh, the first time around but uh, you just want to give your structure a name so this can be anything you want um, ice tree 2 and you can click save and then it will be saved to your minecraft folder I'll explain how to import it in just a second uh, so with your tree um, this is basically where we're placing the sapling uh, when we place the sapling block uh, this would be the item that you place it with so when you place it uh, pretend that it's in the dark spot right here the black spot uh, for the world wall now it's going to be in this location that it's going to be growing however uh, when it actually grows it's going to be pla placing the structure from that block so this red location here is where it's going to be placing it which means the center is going to be at this white location so we need to calculate uh, how many blocks to offset it now the reason why I've outlined this uh, tree here with the yellow square is just to make it a little bit easier for you guys to see where the size of the structure is uh, it is exactly three blocks um, away from the center block so it's one two and then three so if we go over here uh, I've calculated one, two, and three. So this is how many um, directions that we need to subtract it by. We need to go x minus three and z minus three. And um, for the axis, it's always going to be um, 
deposit placing it on the where it's basically uh, spawning it from so as you can see here the access uh, points the red um, green and blue are uh, basically uh, the opposite corner so where we place the location here it's pasting it on the positive side of things so we just need to make sure that we use negative coordinates to paste it uh, like basically offset it back to the proper location so that's how it's basically working um, if we go back to amp creator now um, that's where the tick update basically comes in it's just uh, placing it offsetting it by three as you can see here and then it's uh, placing it in the right location uh, it doesn't generate any natural blocks so we don't need that and if I go to resources then we want to go to structures and then what you want to do is you want to uh, import structure from Minecraft and then you should have a few or one or two structures uh, that you've basically saved with a structure block so this is the one that we just saved you click OK and then it would be imported and then you could select it from the structure spawn um, block itself so uh, that's how to basically import structures now the last thing that I have set up is um, with the leaves I don't know if I covered the leaves but leaves need to have the tag uh, leaves as well you need to set it to the minecraft namespace it needs to be under blocks and you need to add it to your um, basically your element uh, to the tag itself so to add it you would just click on the leaves and then you would add it like that and uh, that's how you basically add tags so um, make sure to add your or you're going to run into some issues with that now there is one other part of this to make it all work and that is a item I basically selected the texture that I'm using for the tree itself and then what I've done is just created a basic item uh, it doesn't have an inventory so we don't need it and then I've set a procedure for when right clicked on block and then we're doing a little bit of stuff with this so I'll try my best to explain now you're gonna need a local variable for this um, this is going to basically just run once when the procedure is being run so um, it's a basically a local a logic variable you can set a local logic variable by clicking the little plus icon under local variables up here give it a name make sure it's under logic and then click OK so when you have that done uh, this rest of the script will be able to be made easily uh, so the first thing that we're doing is we're um, testing if the block above is either cave air or air now remember this is uh, being tested if we're right clicking on a block uh, with an item so if the item is being right clicked on a block then it's going to be uh, testing for air above it and above that block and if that's not true then it's going to be testing for cave air as well uh, these two actually need to be um, tested for both uh, need to be tested for or uh, a lot of things in the cave air which are found underground in the overworld and other places uh, will have issues running this particular script so we need to test for both of these the next thing that we need to do is basically test for what blocks that we want to place uh, our sapling on uh, I've used grass, mycelium, and uh, I believe puzzle, uh, dirt, and uh, coarse dirt, I think, as well. Uh, dirt one, and yeah, dirt two. So if uh, it does find the block, the current block is um, one of these things, what it's going to do is set the local variable to true. Uh, this is important because if it's not one of these variables, what it's going to do is set it to false. So if it's not one of the blocks that is it's testing for beforehand, we've made a else statement. So it goes if, and then it tests for our first condition, if else if, and then it does like else if, else if, else if for the other blocks. And then if it's not, 
any of those other ones and we've made an else statement and then we've basically set the else statement to set it to false. So if it's true, uh, within the same block here, if it's testing for error, what we're doing is we're now testing for the local variable. Uh, you can go to the variables tab, grab the local variable and then test if it's true. And uh, then what we want to do is create another condition if the um, item in main hand uh, event slash target equals and then what we're doing is we're testing if it's uh, the um, the sapling item and if that's true then what we're doing is we're going to swing the uh, main hand of the current entity we're going to place down the block one block above where we tested for the error and we're going to remove the entity's item in the main hand because we've tested for it we don't need to test for the item again so with that being said we're going to basically remove that from the current entity's inventory as well so we're removing it from the inventory hand then we're just basically placing a or making a sound uh, play when we're actually placing the block itself so that's basically all that goes on here uh, if we save it, uh, that's the only procedure in this uh, particular thing, so that's good. Um, now, one of these procedures aren't uh, properly... Uh, let's see here. That might have been for the update tick. That's the one we just looked at for the item, and this is the current update tick, so this procedure here isn't needed. Um, Yep, so that's as simple as it is. Um, just make sure that you have your tags, your leaves are under the proper um, uh, block base, and you have the material set up properly, and follow the steps for actually creating a structure, and give it a couple minutes to make sure that they're not despawning, and uh, you should be good. Uh, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.